Hey y'all, these are 10 random favorites that I have. In no particular order. We will start with hair products. I use this Garnier Fructis. It is the best stuff for, um, it's sleek and shine. It makes your hair shine. And also, it um, it's a leave-in conditioner. It works really, really well. I have naturally curly hair, as you can see. But also, it really works well on my bangs. And when I put the flat iron to my bangs, um, my hair is naturally curly. And it's really, really soft. So, I have to put other product in it because it's going to be too soft. And then, it won't want to do anything. So, my other product that I use on my hair is I use this LA gel. This is the best gel that I've found. I've used all kinds of gel. I've tried mousse. I've tried everything. And this is the best so far that I have tried. This, I just put it on my hair and scrunch it. And it's just natural. For years, I fought it. I had my um, hair short, short, short. And had it straight, biting the curls. And then finally, I decided there was no use to fight them anymore. So I used this in combination with this. I use this for my bangs, this L'Oreal Locket. It's really, really good. I have to use it on my bangs and I have to spray it. You can layer it. You can put layer after layer after layer so that it gets it. I get them stiff enough to where they're not going to go anywhere. And also, I put it on my hair, throughout my hair, and I spray it. But let me tell you the little trick between these two. If you go swimming, which I don't swim because I don't want my bangs wet, but if my hair gets wet, not counting my bangs, because my bangs get wet, we're going to have a problem. Uh, because it's, they're going to curl up. But um, if you use these two products and you go in the pool and your hair gets wet like my, the back of my hair will get wet and stuff and the long part will get wet not counting my bangs and when you when your hair when you come out and your hair dries it makes the most beautiful curls you've ever seen it is so crazy i don't know if it's the combination of the two or what it is but with these two and you go into a pool you are going to have some amazing curls. So that's those things as far as hair products. Uh, my hair is real fine. I have a lot of hair, but it's real fine. And it is just as soft. Most people are trying to get their hair soft. I'm trying to put some texture into my hair. So that's what I did with that is I use those two in combination and I scrunch it, let it dry naturally. And then at the end, I take a blow dryer and just kind of go through it. Um, if I'm in a hurry or whatever to get it through there. All right. And the next thing is, um, I love Bath and Body Works lotions and body washes and soaps and so forth. But this is a really good soap if perhaps you run out. Or you just don't want to spend as much money because this is cheaper. I get it at Walmart. And it is Scent Therapy. And they have different um, fragrances, of course. And this is Sun Kiss Days. And it's got a beach scene on it. But this is a foaming lotion. It smells just as good. It's just as fragrant as the Bath and & Body. And it is cheaper. I think it's like 3 I want to say $3.89 or $3 something. But it's under $4. And it is foaming. And it's very fragrant. So if you want an alternative to the Bath & Body Works uh, for a cheaper price um, or just something you just want to use on an everyday basis, um, Scent Therapy. And the name is up here. Let's see if I can get it closer so you can see it. There you go. I don't know if you can see that or not. But I tried. <laughs> it's in therapy. All right. And food products. So let's start with, I went to Home, Home Goods. And I had bought 
this white through I used it and I haven't been back yet but I just kept the box so that I could show y'all it's white chicken chili well I'm not real fond of chili so when I saw it I really didn't think about it being chili chili <laughs> red sauce um and I was thinking it was gonna be like a white sauce surprise it wasn't it was <laughs> it had red sauce in it so what I did was I just did not put the uh, red sauce in there but I the beans I was trying to find the beans um, this is my second box of this and I was trying to find the beans and I didn't know what kind of beans they are but and it says Northwest style um, of chili but they are navy beans because when I read on the box this time it's navy beans so it's navy beans you want to look for I've never made beans other than these before from scratch but um but they are delicious if you take the navy beans go by the directions on this box and you um once you i think you have to you sort all beans that are you know of course that are um dried you sort them to look for the bad beans or hard beans or anything that's in them and then you put them in you boil them i think it was for five minutes and then once you boil them, you drain them, and then you boil them again. And I used, instead of water, I used um, chicken broth. And I made chicken. I boiled the chicken. And once I did the beans and got them done, then I cooked them. Um, I can't, let's see. Four cups for five minutes. And then you bring five cups of water to an onion you add to it. And you let it simmer for an hour covered and then you um once you do the beans then you add the chicken once that's done you add it together uh i'm not real big on broth i like it okay but it doesn't like me so make sure you know if you want you know broth what i did afterwards was once i cooked it then as we ate it, I would add broth to the bowl or whatever because I'm not real big on broth. So I added just the amount that I wanted. But you can do it however you want to. But with the chicken and the navy beans, it was really, really good. And my youngest daughter came over and she tried it and she said it was really good too. So what I did was um, one day we had it with rice and we put it over rice. And then the next day, we had it and put it over noodles. And you can use any kind of noodles you want, whatever your favorite noodles are. But this is really, really good. So if you can't find this in Home Goods, if you can find navy beans, you can make this. And it's really good. They just You just put onions with the navy beans and cook them according to the directions if you have a bag of them. I've never seen them in a bag. So that'll be what I look for next time. But every time I go to Home Goods, I look for this. All right, let's see what we have here. Oh, and uh, for staying with food type items, these New York Texas toast croutons are so good, and they are always fresh. Every time I buy these, these are fresh, which is really good. They're, they're really just light and airy and crispy. They're not hard. I don't like them when they're hard. And these croutons are delicious and they're just fresh and really, really, you know, crispy, but not hard. They're just crispy and light, but they have different, um, flavors of course and everything, but, and I've tried all the flavors, doesn't matter which flavor it is. It's really, really good. All right. Now, next, when I was young, my mother used to make white gravy. My mother called it milk gravy um but libby's has a country sausage gravy my mother when she cooked her she didn't put sausage in it per se she just made the milk gravy but what i do is my mother used to make milk gravy she would toast bread and she would boil eggs and she would toast the bread break it up in little pieces and she would put this well, not. <laughs> she didn't put this but she put her homemade milk gravy on there so what I do is I do the same thing I break up the toast in little pieces pour this over it and then we put a uh, boiled egg on top of it 
So it's just something different. Um, I don't know if you've ever tried that or not, but it does taste pretty good. And this is pretty good. Walmart also has a brand. I'm sure there's others that have a brand. Sometimes I like um, the generic and things and sometimes I don't. Walmart's is okay. It's comparable to it, but this tastes pretty good. Of course, it's not as good as homemade and I do make homemade myself, but um, I'm retired now, so I'm not trying to do a lot of cooking. And before I was working 12 hours a day, so I wasn't trying to do a lot of cooking. So if you want to try that, also you can, of course, put it over biscuits like they have here. We just don't eat a lot of biscuits. so, And we don't have this very often, but for something different, if you want to try that. All right. And I'll save my most favorite thing for last. All right. And I have these flashlight these remind me of r2d2 but <laughs> from star wars <laughs> uh, but anyways um these are flashlight they came in a set of four there was two smaller ones these are the larger ones and they're probably almost as big as my hand and um there was two smaller ones i have one in my car which was a pink color it was almost there wasn't rose gold it was more of a pink color but and also it came with black so two small black ones and then the silver and this uh bronzy color all right let me see here if i can get it to come on um all right so <laughs> i don't want to blind y'all but um it is a flashlight here and they're led lights and then it's like a lantern try not to blind y'all but there you go and also i'm gonna push this down i don't blind myself now i'm seeing spots uh, but it has a button here that you can use just the flashlight like if you want to just you know need a flashlight for whatever reason or you can use just a lantern also it has a hook on the bottom so if say that you're in your car and you need to open up the hood and you need a hook something to hook you can put this flashlight on the hook also it has uh on the bottom it has three magnets so if you want to use this and say that you have a flat tire and it's dark outside or dusk or whatever but it's getting dark or it is dark you can take it has magnets so you can Put this on your car fender. I guess it wouldn't be the fender, the side fender. I'm not sure what it's called. But anyway, you can put it above the tire. And it's a magnet, so it'll stay there. And you'll be able to use the light as you need it. And you can use either the flashlight or the lantern or both. But I thought that was really, really neat. So I put the little small one in mine. Um, it came in a set of four, as I said. Um... Oh, gosh, my mind has gone blank. Was it QVC or HSN? Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't remember. But it's one of the two. It's a set of four. So you can um, find those there. And they're great gift ideas. You know, you can give it as a gift for Christmas or whatever. They would be good stocking stuffers. I can't remember how much they were. Uh, I can't remember the price of them. But they were really reasonable. I would. I want to say... Mm, under $20 but not more than $25 but I can't remember but I got them not too long ago so but I thought that was an amazing deal and to get four of them and you could have four gifts and they're really really nice and you could just put them in your car these I keep in my pantry that way if I need a flashlight I, I'll have it um, and I have another lantern that I got from QVC um, that I showed in my pantry video um, and it has the lights around it and then the flashlight comes out and you can use it as a flashlight or on the side it has another little light and it's really great too so that way because you never know when the power is going to go out and that way you you know if you have them and keep them at home for yourself you have four lights so if you know different people in the house need to Go to the bathroom go to another room or whatever they have a light so i thought that was really neat all right my two favorite things i don't know which one i love the most i love them both so much 
<laughs> all right all right i used to drink sprite all the time and i still love sprite it's my favorite but and i really like walmart sprite just as good the lemon twist up i think it's called just as good as i do the sprite now all um sodas are not created equal so um walmart coke or whatever i like it just as good too now other brands the generics i'm not too crazy about it depends on what it is but this is alpine spiced apple cider and what happened was i had got this in a walmart order you know how you order walmart and you go pick it up well i had got this in an order and i didn't order it and so i was going to call and tell them i didn't order it but then i thought well i'll just try it you know so I tried it and I fell in love. They come in little packets. Let me see if I can get it open here for you. But they come in little packets. Um, to me, it's not quite sweet enough. So you could put like Splenda or um, sugar, whichever you drink inside of here instead. But it comes in this. And it's a drink mix. Of course, it's not apple cider in package. But, um, and it comes in the... You, I think you get eight of these. I'm not sure how many you get. I just knew. Let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, five. Okay. Um, so you get five of these packets, and there's two in each one, so it comes with a total of ten. So um, you just take it, and um, I keep them on my um, tray that I use right beside my... Um, coffee maker my Keurig and I keep them inside of a cup so you could just take them out pour it in there I add a little bit of sugar or Splenda to it because it's not quite sweet enough for me but it is delicious so I have almost replaced my Sprite with this it is really really good and I don't even like apple cider I've never been a fan of apple cider <laughs> I just got it by accident and also it comes in the K-Cups. I'd already opened it, but I want to show you it did come in the K-Cups as well. And it comes in the little K-Cup. Which is perfect, you know. So if you have guests or whatever, you can offer them this. But it really, really does taste delicious. I really love it. So if you're a fan of apple cider, try it. If you're not a fan of apple cider, try it anyway. Because I wasn't either. And I have fell in love. This is my new love. And my next favorite thing. It's not a food product or anything. But alright. I had showed this in a video where I had um, bought some new cookware. And it. Um, I can't remember when I bought it. But anyway. And it was around um, November or December. It was around Christmas, Thanksgiving. It is, you can see it, it's a little tray, and it's plastic, plastic. It is so wonderful. I love, love, love this thing. It is a lid holder. Now, how many times have you gone and put your lid onto the stove or onto your counter, and then it's got the um condensation or the steam or whatever it is from whatever you're cooking and it gets all over your counter makes a ring on your counter like this or on your stove this eliminates this and this little tray part whoops <laughs> all right i'm about to be minus the lid um this little tray holds it and catches everything and then you can put it back on your pot and then when you want to check whatever you're cooking you can check it and then put your lid back on and no mess i love this it's one of my favorite things i use it every single day because i cook every day um, for me and my son so i just wanted to show you all this again even though i had it and it is i think twenty dollars um and it is amazing it's from the curtis stone cookware line you can look online of course, HSN or QVC. I'm not sure which. Not that I order a lot of stuff, right? 
<laughs> I can't remember which one I got it from, but it is amazing. But you can just go on there and look for Curtis Stone and you'll see it. But it is really a great idea. I don't know if these are new, if other people have them, or if he just himself is the only one that has it. Um, I thought maybe it said his name on there, but I don't see it. But anyway, um, it is the, I guess that's his little emblem. Oh, it does say Curtis Stone on the lid, but uh, for the cookware. But if you want cookware too, go look um, at one of my videos. And I have cookware on there, the Curtis Stone cookware. And it was an amazing um, deal that I got. And so, if you're in, and it's nonstick, which is the best. So, these are my favorite things. So, I just wanted to share with you, give you some ideas. Um, so, if you want to try any of them. But I really encourage you to try that apple cider especially with fall coming and so forth if you like apple cider and if you don't because it is really really good and sometimes it's hard to get especially the cake cups they you know sometimes it's hard to get those there but I just wanted to show y'all my favorite things random favorite things and we'll wrap it up for this time and we'll see you next time take care see you in the next video